In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at a different way of working on a scene in a clip using a color focus. I'm going to apply this in a way to make the beginning or ending of a scene a little special by going from black and white to color. Let me show you how to do that using the color focus special effect. To get there, we simply click on the FX, get the, into the effect room in the upper left corner of our screen. And then with the visual chosen, we simply click on color focus. Now I can drag it down into the effect track or an easier way is simply that once it's selected, click on this uh, button here. It will insert it in my timeline where at the place where my scrubber happens to be. And now I inserted it in the track. Immediately you begin to see a little bit about what it does. I have color here in this area and black and white elsewhere. Now I'm going to get into the effect to see what it, what it can do for me. I can double click on it or press the F2 key if I prefer to do it that way. And I'm going to move over a little bit so I can see all my features here. Uh, I can control several things. I can control the position. If I click on that button, the default position is in the very center. I can move it to start somewhere else, anywhere I like on the entire screen. Or I can click on Reset and it will put it right back in the center of my frame. So I'm going to click on the Cancel there. And the other thing I can control is the gradient depth. I have numbers from 1, where it's a pretty tight circle, all the way up to 5, where it's uh, uh, rather less defined, a little more, uh, uh, there's a gradient there between them. So you can pick whichever number you kind of like. I also can control the uh, height and width, and they're, they start out being locked together where I can go from the whole scene to a small part of the scene. And we're going to use that in a moment to show you how to do this. So it's a nice feature. I can unlock these if I want to and, and put a different number in or use the slider uh, to change it. So if I want to change it to 56 by... Uh, I could actually type in 50 or put in 56. Now I have a perfect circle. Uh, in this particular case. So we're going to just reset it to normal here. These are locked and this is the gradient color depth. What can you do with this? Well, I'd like to open my scene with it. So I'm going to take it and move it to the beginning. And I'm going to use a keyframe this time. A keyframe basically uh, locks in a certain kind of quality at a certain point in time. I'm going to set my depth down uh, to, to the lowest number. And I'm going to set the height and width down to 1. Okay, and then I'll click on keyframe. And we'll, we'll be at the beginning of our clip. And so my width is 1, my height is 1, my depth is 1. And I'm going to click the diamond to set a keyframe for each of these qualities. And the position uh, I'm not going to vary because it will always be at the center. Uh, so I won't have to set a keyframe for something that doesn't change. Then I'm going to move over into my clip just a little bit, and we'll change that. We'll uh, take the width, and we'll make it larger. We'll take the height, and we'll make it larger. And uh, we can see the impact on the screen. I want it to cover more than the whole screen here. So we'll maximize both of these out, so the entire thing is turned to color. And so it automatically set the keyframe at this point in time. So the difference between the, the uh, setting here and here will be seen as I begin to play this. I'm going to close this out. And we'll go ahead and I'll move the scrubber to the beginning. And we'll play the clip and you see what happens. Starts out in the middle with color and then it slowly moves to the outside. I would probably do it a little bit slower, and I can go ahead and, and slide my keyframe over. But it gives an example of how you can uh, start a different kind, and you can also end it that way. Let me uh, go ahead and pause this. We'll go back, and we'll take our, uh, uh, our color, and we'll move it toward the end. And I will uh, click on Color Focus, insert it there. 
And so now we're going to impact it at the end as well of our shot. So I will uh, either double click on it, press the F2 key. Uh, again, I'm going to use keyframes here. We're going to start out with uh, maximum. Everything is in color, hit keyframe. Uh, so at this point of, uh, of the clip, we're going to set these and it's maximum width and height and the gradient depth is we'll leave it like that we don't need to change it and then we'll move to the end uh, move the scrubber over to the end of this area impacted by my special effect and then we're going to shrink it down to nothing and that sets two more keyframes over here I'll close that and now if I go ahead and want to move the scrubber back over here and we'll look at the end of our clip here hopefully we won't have too long to go I'll play it and there it is normal shot its color and then the color begins to shrink from the outside in down to the end where there's no color at all so that's just a different way of using that you can also use color obviously to highlight one or a component of the screen I could focus on the goslings and uh, do something special there but that's a way to use color uh, in a kind of a circular fashion in CyberLink PowerDirector mm -hmm.